complained about the rain, that didn't spoil it. The world record has been broken. And did you enjoy yourself today? Yeah, I loved it. The enthusiasm, enthusiasm of the kids rubbed off on you, so how can you not like it? Like, the Olympics aren't just the two weeks next year in August. They're, it's, like, it's almost like starting now and getting all the kids involved and everything, and it's just starting to get really exciting. And people, oh, it's coming with that. Did you get caught in the rain? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we just managed to get all the... The rings up and then yeah, had to just camp inside. <laughs> just suddenly heavens opened and got What was the atmosphere like out there? It was, it was cool. Like I just there was having like all these people on stilts and jugglers and had winter and mask and the uh, out there. And, yeah, it was really good. So, what would your message be to uh, people who perhaps aren't doing sports at the moment but uh, would like to with the Olympics coming? Um, I think probably to just give us many different things to go as you get a chance to because I, I know from my experience that I never expected to be here and I just but to say like that you never know what you could be capable of so let's give everything a go. Uh, what does being in sport mean to involved in sport mean to you? Um, I think it's um, really good for like other aspects it's been very disciplined and kind of uh, determined in other aspects of my life so I think it's good to try out loads of different things and find what's like best for you and if you enjoy it then you're there's always plenty of opportunities to get around, especially at school. Just get involved with a, a club you want to be involved with. That's how I feel. Like. A 20,000 young people in Surrey, in this county, have had a try of different sports, and let's hope some of them have taken them up. And as we've said before, the Olympians, just like you, are going to be Abigail as a future.